What's cracking, guys? What do Dustin Williams, Evan Shanks, Adam LZ all have in common when it comes to Hondas? Well, we'll get in that right now because they seem to be thinking they're cool again. What's cracking, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Honda Recap. Thank you all for joining me for yet again another Monday night here on the Honda Recap. If this is your first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 p.m. when this thing airs, 8 p.m. West Coast time, just to... Um you know, just so we're all on the same page. Thank you to everybody who's live right now in the premiere. Thank you all for joining me for another week. How are you all doing? How has your weekend been? What do you have planned for your car this week? Or what do you have planned for yourself this week? Let me know. We're all hanging out every Monday night at 8 o'clock here on the Honda Recap. So thank you all for joining yet again. I wanted to kick this off saying what there's a lot of people out there on YouTube or bigger creators that are getting into Hondas lately. Some of them have always been Honda boys. Some of them are very new to the world. It's cool to see bigger channels getting involved in the Honda world for the first time or getting back into it because Honda is just the way to go and it's in the roots of a lot of people. I wanted to kick this off right now with Dustin Williams who just got a Mugen SI. I believe he had a CTR when they first came out a very long time ago, but I think he sold it and he now got a Mugen SI, which is respectable because it's actually a very rare car and one that I know that you're going to put a lot of effort in, which I hope you are, because it's a very nice car already starting to put parts into it. And it's really awesome to see a channel that's really large getting into Hondas and at least buying one and keeping it to the standard that a Mugen SI should absolutely stay. Following that, we got Evan Shanks. Oh, you guys know this guy. He's also had a bunch of other cars and he started to get a sleeper E. Jay, it's really awesome to see that you've got a car, but I'm actually just going to go ahead and say it's kind of upsetting that you're going to go the turbo Civic route because if you're going to put the time to put Corbo seats in the car and then go the eBay turbo route, it's like, I don't know, man. From a Honda boy, I just kind of I'm trying to say like, make it like the Evo, you know what I'm saying? What's wrong with that? But either way, I'm really happy that you're getting into the Honda world. You picked up a sleeper EJ. You've got wheels, Corbo seats, and you are going to go boost. I'm really happy that everyone goes eBay turbo at least once. And then once you hit that, maybe feel that and decide you want to build it proper. It's a really great car. There's a lot of great EJs on the channel. I really hope that this EJ is more than just a bucket turbo car and maybe it'll get some justice in the end. Following that we got Adam LZ. This one's kind of a bigger picture because it's Adam LZ, Chris Rudnick, and Trevor from Motion Auto TV. Trevor built a 500 horsepower EK Coupe. You've seen that on his channel, PFI, Boosted Boys. They all kind of covered this. It's really, really awesome to see 500 horsepower out of an EK Coupe. Chris Money Rudnick went out there with Adam LZ and they did a couple pools with it. Adam LZ got a little taste of a little single jingle turbo out there on the streets. And as you can tell, he actually had a very, very good time. It'd be interesting to see what kind of car Adam LZ could build. But OG Chris Reiser Rudnick had a Civic and he put a lot of time and effort into that as well. And now that he's in Florida, he picked up another car and he's going stance boy for just a little bit. But I know and I hope, cross my fingers, that he's going to meet up with Kyle in the future and build a really awesome K-Series one because I know deep down... Chris wants to make a really awesome Civic, so I'm really hoping that happens very soon. And to wrap all that up for the big channels, I wanted to also throw out that Donut Media made an up to speed about the CRX, which is just awesome to know because at the end there was some Del Sol content, so obviously I'm going to talk about it. But to know that you're covering the CRX is awesome, and I want to see what other Hondas you plan on touching. I know you did the ITR and a couple other chassis, the CRX is definitely one that needs more love. In other news, I want to talk about ITR sold one at auction for $65,000. This is actually really insane to know that a $65,000 ITR is possible right now. And to know what the pricing for that right now, I think you go on Craigslist, you can get an ITR for like 22 K almost, which is kind of weird to look in comparison of what a 65,000 K is perceived to be. And then a 22,000 K ITR you can find on Craigslist. That's a that's a large gap. But let's get into what's been going on this week on YouTube. Put everybody's links in the description below of who I'm talking about, especially the bigger channels we started out with. But to kick this off, let's go ahead with Zosh, who's already selling the Big Bertha BRV. I know he really wanted to build a lot of stuff with this car, but when you look at it, there's not too much you can do. And I think the way Zosh is trying to build his channel and himself with his cars, he's going to hit a wall very, very quickly. And I've talked to the guy in the past. He really has been looking for an EG hatch or an EK hatch, some car he knows he could keep for the long run. So I'm really happy that you're just going to go ahead, make the move, get rid of the CRV and start building a car that you can build just like Christina and keep that for a longer period of time. Following that, we've got 
Ghost Boy Aki Keep Gunning, basically taking this chassis the lightest it could go. If you guys haven't been paying attention, he took a bunch of weight out of the car, and the winner who guessed it actually got a really awesome four piston head so if you guys haven't been checking this out i think he just crossed 10,000 subscribers he's got many more than that followers on instagram so i'm really happy that you're putting the same effort over here on youtube man next up we got brad from the old souls finishing up the civic si rims that he's been working on for quite some time the del sol is definitely getting on its way the whole body has been bondoed and sanded and is about to get ready for paint it's really awesome that you've been working on the wheels on the time as well and like i said a long time ago definitely check out the old souls.com form he's actually putting up a registry where we can see where all the del souls are worldwide not here in in the united states the forum is definitely doing a lot better thank you for doing that with that said i wanted to hop over to vasily garage daniel has built monica for all motor k-series power but has been hinting quite frequently that he's wanting to go k-series and it's really awesome to know that he made a really long format video pretty recently where he kind of discussed the whole entire history of all the cars that he's built and why he actually wants to go boost now and it's really cool to know that you sat down and gave us that one-on-one -on -one. i actually listened to it in the car in straight podcast form i've seen a lot of pictures that you've put up on instagram in the past so when you brought up like you know the green ek hatch i already knew what we were looking at and i was really able to just follow along audio wise definitely check out vasila garage's latest video and he's going to go ahead and do this turbo build all on youtube just the way he did last time i'm really excited for this. Chris Sadowski did a four-year transformation of the DA. It's insane to know how far your channel goes back, the condition of your DA, and where you are now. If you guys don't know, the rundown is legitimately he had the car for quite some time, did a B20 VTEC, took it down again, painted it, went back in, painted the engine bay right-hand drive, K-series, or K-series then right-hand drive, following along with the Chris Sadowski channel itself. There's been a lot of time put into this DA, and this video is really, really awesome to see the progression of everything that went down. Following that, we got Wideband. He's basically one of the leaders with 802 Garage going over the $500 turbo car challenge. His car of choice is a Del Sol, and he did a very informative how to turbo your Del Sol, e.g., civic video and he kind of walked over the steps that you actually need to take in a very quick format you can legitimately get the biggest and fastest rundown of how you literally can do this with with a simple kit on installing everything from oil feed line the oil pan putting on the exhaust manifold and getting the car all put together i'm really excited for this channel there's actually a lot of other people out there getting involved i'll put the description and the links to everything you need to know if you want to join it or follow along with the 500 dollars turbo car challenge Last but not least, we've got Deadbeat Garage finally getting the flywheel and clutch on the super high compression, well, super high compression, it's like 13 to 1 B20V, all motor, I think right now, khaki civic that's going on over there on the deadbeat garage channel definitely check this out there is so many little things and the attention to detail on this car is insane i think we're about a couple videos away before the transmission's on and in the car but if you do a quick scan of everything that's gone on for this car there's a lot of little things you wouldn't have recognized if you didn't sit there and watch all of the videos so props to you man i'm really excited for this car to happen all right, guys, to wrap this up, I wanted to talk about some cool podcasts that are going out in the scene right now that I'm really, really enjoying to kick it off. Obviously, we know about Joey Lee with Utah and the Chronicles podcast. That has quite a few going on right now. Downtime with Downstar is another podcast, obviously, by Frank Downstar, who's on episode 73 right now. One of the latest he just did was with Joey Lee of the Chronicles, and these are getting better and better as you guys move forward. Following that, I think Narita Dogfight actually has a podcast. I need to look it up. I've seen a couple messages, and I've seen a couple posts float up on Instagram. This would be another cool podcast to see because they are intertwined with a lot of different people and cars, and I think it would be really beneficial for a lot of people to hear the stories on that podcast as well. Last but not least, just to wrap that up, we got VTech Academy with the Midnight Oil, which is now sort of more of a sit-down conversation turned podcast. I'm really excited about that. It's always live on YouTube, live on Instagram, and you get to just talk to a lot of other people in the industry and just hear the history of Hasport and what Brian has done and the history of all the stuff that he's done with the cars as well. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of the Honda Recap. Thank you all for joining me for yet again. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 o'clock when this thing airs. Thank you to everybody in Premiere who's hanging out, talking right now. Head over to hondavlogs.com slash shop. Pick yourself up a shirt, a hoodie, a sticker, or anything else you guys need to support the channel. I appreciate everybody who has already. I like sitting down, hanging out, and talking about all things Honda for what's been going on week to week here on the Honda Recap. So definitely, like I said, hit the subscribe button, that thumbs up, and that bell, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.